perhaps I should teach you very quickly that there is a difference between knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. I think we should start from there tonight. There is a difference between knowledge, between knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. And I'll tell you the difference. Knowledge is simply a coordinated gathering of information. Access to information is called knowledge. Knowledge is very important because that is the foundation of wisdom. There cannot be wisdom without knowledge. There cannot be understanding without knowledge. Understanding only finds its value when you have knowledge. Are we together? The assignment of wisdom is to bring within your, the assignment of knowledge is to bring within your space information that can be profitable. Please listen. God is building us already. The assignment of knowledge is to bring to your space or to bring to your consciousness knowledge that can profit you. Doesn't mean it will profit you, but it is knowledge that can profit you. You have that now? Now the next step after knowledge is understanding. What is understanding? Comprehension. Comprehension. The working dynamics. The working dynamics that release the profit captured in that knowledge is called understanding. So if all you have is the gathering or the consciousness of an information, you may have knowledge, but you will have the same destiny as an ignorant person. And this is what a lot of believers, a lot of believers keep priding and bragging, I know, I know. And yet the results clearly show that we do not know. So knowledge gives room for understanding, comprehension. What do you comprehend? The working dynamics, deriving the principle that connects the dots, the information you have now gathered, the principles that release the profit factor in that knowledge. So knowledge has to do with the gathering, coordinated gathering of information, useful information. Understanding has to do with comprehension. Understanding the principles connected to or the principles that activate that body of truth you have now found. But wisdom is very different because wisdom has to do with engaging the practical aspect of engaging what you understand. The correct application. Are we together now? Wisdom has to do with applying what you have understood. The knowledge you have now understood. If you have the grace and the intelligence to engage it for your profiting, it is called wisdom. So when there is no action, it is not wisdom. You see that now? I know that this is what God wants me to do. All right? I move past the realm of knowledge to understanding. And then I understand the dynamics of how to engage it for my profiting. But I can have knowledge and understanding and still be barren of results. It is when I apply wisdom engaging it they heard the word just like we did the bible says but the word did not profit them that means the word had profit in it but the word did not profit them why not being mixed with faith engaging the word for your profiting is where wisdom comes so most people say i have wisdom what they just mean is i have a better information than what you have that is still not wisdom the fruit of wisdom is seen in its ability to impart grace upon you to engage the word until it works for you. That is the reason why wisdom is connected to mighty works. You see that now? When you have wisdom, it is connected to mighty works because the proof that you have wisdom is that you know what to do and you do it. It says, now that ye know these things, blessed are you if you do them you are not blessed when you know what scripture is that now that you know these things blessed happy are you if you do them very very important there are many believers that know what to do but they don't pay attention 
Now that you know these things, John 13, yes, yeah, 17, thank you. If you know these things, happy, in fact, give us NIV. I think it presents it in a way that it says, now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. Not if you know them. Now that you know them, your problem is not a knowledge problem. In fact, it may not even be an understanding problem. A wisdom problem is that you have not sustained the grace to engage consistently until it delivers. Are we together? So when Jesus says, I will build my church, immediately you know that that is wisdom personified speaking because it is through wisdom anything is built. When he says, I will build my church, it means you cannot take away the wisdom component from the believer's experience. There is no other way the believer is built if you take wisdom out of the way. Hallelujah. Are we learning? So have this at the back of your mind that the teachings you are receiving, particularly this year, are survival strategies. Thank you for staying to the end of this message. I know you have been blessed by this message. If you have been blessed, please subscribe to this channel, like this message, and share with others. In that way, you are also doing the work of an evangelist by spreading the word of God to the ends of the earth. God bless you. Stay blessed.